Hey guys, this is the most important YouTube analytics that you must know if you want to grow your channel. And there is a few of them that if you improve, your channel will start growing. It's always important to post creatively, but if you know some analytics, that will help you grow your channel. The first ever post notification shout out goes to Aneldi German. And yes, you were first, so shout out to you Aneldi German. And today's random shout out goes to It's Face. Thank you so much for being supportive and shout out to you, It's Face. Now I'm gonna show you on the computer what to pay most attention to. And the first important one is right in the dashboard. And this shows you how your video is doing compared to the last 10 videos you posted. So if that video is, is one of 10 or two out of 10, then you might wanna do like a second part of that video or just a similar video because there's obviously interest in that video. But now let's jump into more important analytics. Obviously we click analytics. Then you have this graph. This shows your progress month to month for 12 months and you can see how far you're growing. And don't pay attention to one single video. Just because that video didn't rank good, that doesn't mean your channel is not doing good. For me, the biggest jump was from March to May. So for, for pretty much three months, I got a similar amount of views. But then in August, it went a lot up again. So I know my channel is growing. And watch time is important too. If you want to get monetized, then pay attention to your watch time. Then it's good to see if your watch time is growing so you can get monetized. And for watch time, make sure to click the last 365 days because it shows you your watch time in the last 365 days. And obviously my, my watch time is a little bit more, but keep in mind, I've been doing YouTube for three years and to monetize, you need 4,000 hours of watch time. And just in case, if you want to know how to get more watch time, I have a video in the description down below. Then it shows you which videos bring you more views and stuff like that. But the most important option here is the second option when you click reach. And then you, over here, you have traffic sources. You wanna have one of these as your number one traffic source is suggested videos and YouTube search. Browse features too, but the other two are more important. And suggested videos is great because it means they find your video from the side of your video or somebody else's video. While one video is playing, your video is shown by the sidebar. Getting suggested is really good, but it happens rarely. If you make awesome videos, some of them will be suggested. But another really good traffic source is search. And it's way easier to make your video searchable. I'm assuming you have one of these two traffic sources. Then the next important statistic is click-through rate. You want your click-through rate to be as close to 10% as possible or even above it. For the last 28 days, my click-through rate has been 7.7%. And this is not only from my fans, this is from outside audience as well. But keep in mind, most of my traffic sources is YouTube search. And 7.7% .7 is pretty good. If your click through rate is mostly from notifications, the number will be way higher, but that's also not good. Because your fans are more willing to click your video than some stranger on YouTube. That's why you want this number to get as high as possible, but with the correct traffic sources. I also have a video of how to increase your click-through rate in the description as well. And this is also important, how much of your subscribers put the notifications on. And if that percentage is low, that means you have to make better videos. Because for some reason, they're not putting all the notifications on. Also in the engagement area, when you kind of hover over any video, it tells you the average view duration and the average percentage watched. Obviously you want the average percentage watch to be 100%, but that only happens on some channels, but you just want to get it over 50%. And at least uh, 50 or 60% is great already. But on this video, 47.8% is watched on this video. This is not great, but it's all right. But if I post longer videos, the percentage goes down. Another important one is to know where your audience is from. For me, m most people watch me from United States, but also a big number here is also India. So hi, United States and India. And then you have lower and lower numbers. Obviously this is on my channel, on your channel, it will be totally different. And on this, you can adjust like what videos you post. So if you know what audience you have and you can like change the content so it will serve the people from that region better. And this is important too, it tells you what time to post your video. Basically, it shows when your fans are on YouTube. Then it says on the light purple parts, it says some of your viewers are watching YouTube. But if you go to this part, it says many of your viewers are watching YouTube. 
So over here on Monday on the 11 a.m., obviously you don't have to copy this, and it says very many of your viewers are on YouTube at Monday 11 a.m. If so, if I post my video in any of these three hours, then my videos will get more views. And obviously we're talking about when you drop the video, not for long-term growth. But at least you know when to post a video so more people will watch it. Then you have age and gender. These are important too. You can't really see growing by day by day or week by week. So that's why it's always better to put last 90 days. You see, like my views are pretty stable, but they're going up very slightly. Or 365 days. So that way you can really see what your channel is doing. Obviously, if the line is staying the same for an entire year, then there's something wrong in your channel. So maybe you need to post more videos or make better videos, or maybe change something on your channel. And if you want to know how to get views from search, make sure to click this video. It will show you how to grow your channel, and it's the exact same methods I use. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!